years of falling sales, leaving the dining industry leader and hungry for profits. But CB Holdings, owners of Charlie Brown Steakhouse and Bugaboo Creek Brands, fighting back right now. They've got new menus. They've got a return to their original steakhouse persona. Joining us now, the man behind it, CB Holdings CEO, Sam Borgesi. Sam, great to have you on the show. Thanks, Sam. Great you're, to be here. You're a great story. You uh, decided to come over and run Charlie Brown, run CB. Yeah. A uh, California guy now living in New York. Most of the restaurants here in the yeah. uh, eastern part of the country. What's different for you out here? Oh, well, New York compared to California, a lot more stress. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, um, sure. you know, it, we found the uh, tri state area, the brands were uh, very iconic uh, heritage brands. So, you know, it fits within the tri state New York area. And I found that to be really intriguing. So I find it to be challenging. But, uh, <laughs> It's, it's a great environment. But you, you were telling our producer that actually in the last, uh, maybe it's just really the last 60 days or so, you've actually seen comps go up at the restaurants at Charlie Brown's and at, uh, you've, got, you've got the beer, it's at the office beer the bar. Office. What a great name for a restaurant. Uh, and the Bugaboo. So all three of the chains are actually seeing comp sales rise? Oh, we're seeing improvements in all of it. You know, the economy is moving up to us in, in our efforts to improve the brand, so we're kind of getting both. Okay. Efren? Well, Sam, I got a question. Now, do you notice a lag time between what we see as far as with the economy to, you know, actual consumers cutting back on spending, kind of like with gas stations, you know, it's always this lag time, or are you guys directly in your sales related to how the economy's feeling? Well, you know, I think that the consumer drives the economy. So as you see the consumer getting healthier, and um, if we can cure unemployment, which I think is one of our biggest hurdles, then, the, you know, the consumer confidence is coming back. It's almost real time. I, I believe we had a weather um, uh, for us here regionally, the weather in January, February was a big challenge. Mm -hmm. It hurt uh, you. You're it hurt. It hurt. Yeah. It hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. But if you look at after the weather and as the weather improved, uh, you know, the business improved, and I think that's indicative of the the uh, economic climate in general and our efforts with the brands. Let's talk about about the, the, this new rules are coming out. It looks like from the FDA are going to come out now about reducing salt in foods. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at, at the changes that are being proposed here, but what do you make of it? Well, on the whole, the, you know, the restaurant industry supports the changes for, the, for menu labeling because it's, it takes away all the noise from, um, you know, every state uh, wants to have compliance with nutrition for menus. Mm -hmm. And the federal government came in and gave it um, a lot of consistency in, in a format that we can follow. That's going to help us reduce costs because we're in actually about 10 states. Mm -hmm. when you look at uh, all the brands from Portland down to Georgia. So you, you're used to it here because we're already putting calorie counts on, say, New York State, for example. Correct. But 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 if this is a national thing, you say your company's ready to go. It's not a big problem it is. for you. Okay. It's not. Um, I think one of, the, one of the challenges will be the salt. Uh, salt's something that consumers are used to. It's a taste uh, element. So, you know, yeah. the dry run. Right? That's an, I mean, so, so you know, so say that these new rules do, I mean, it, it could, not just for your company, but for casual dining overall, for restaurants overall, this could be a, a financial impact to the sector, possibly. Well, I think so. It would definitely have an impact on, on, um, on the cost uh, side of the business. Mm -hmm. You have to reprint the menus. You have to reformulate. We may have to mm -hmm. look at the nutrition analysis for each uh, menu item and as, new, as you develop new items. So I think that's a cost. Well, how long do you think it's going to take for the overall uh, sector just to rebound? I mean, you know, it used to run Coco's, for example, it's right. a West Coast chain, but used to oh, run Coco's. Uh, how long do you think overall it's going to take for the casual dining space to come back? Well, I, you know, again, you look at unemployment. I think if we're setting a new, you know, new level of unemployment, uh, you know, kind of European standards, some, somewhere 7 8%, I think it's going to be longer. But if we go back down to uh, something that uh, the U.S. is used to in the 4 or 5% unemployment, I think it'll be accelerated. But I think it's going to be somewhere around, um, you know, another 6, 9 to uh, 12 months before we see a, a, a real healthy environment again. Sam Borgesi, CEO of CB Holding Corporation. Charlie Brown Steakhouse. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. I've actually got some breaking news I need to get to.